Today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best loop blitzes in Madden. It comes to us out of the nickel 245 odd formation out of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense playbook. If you guys want to get my entire 245 odd defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that down in the description. You can get that by becoming a Patreon member. For just $10, you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to the ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while you are a member. So if you want to become a Patreon member today, again, it's only $10 to, to sign up. And this is my personal favorite blitz in the game. Now, what we're going to be doing with this defense, we're going to be playing kind of a zone-based defense. So a couple key tips with this. You want to put your best and most agile players on the defensive line at these uh, two defensive ends slash outside linebacker positions. And then from there, uh, you want your safeties to have deep in zone knockout. That is going to make them play a lot better in zone coverage, which we're primarily running with this scheme. Lastly, when our coaching adjustments, we're going to turn auto flip defense play call off. We're going to have our auto alignment on a base. Then we're going to have our zone coverage on to match. The play we're going to be running for this defense is pinch two out of nickel two, four, five odd. And how we're going to set this up is actually really simple. What we're going to do is we're just going to QB contain, and then we're going to walk this guy in off the edge, and we're going to crash our defensive line uh, to basically away from where that slot corner is. So I like to crash the defensive line to the right. From there, you're going to use this guy right here, pass commit if you want, and what you're going to see is one of the best uh, blitzing concepts in the game this year. It is a double loop concept. Now, you can, if you want to, send edge pressure. The problem with the edge pressure is that it requires you to press. So if I want to just send edge pressure, what I'll do is I'll just base a line and then I'll press and I'll crash my line out or toward that player, and you'll see that we'll get the edge pressure off of this left side. Really good pressure. The problem with that pressure, though, is as you see there, I have to press. And these cloud flat soft squat zones, they're much, much better if you don't press. So I'm not going to press. And then uh, what you'll be able to see is oftentimes you'll get you'll still get some edge pressure or you'll get a loop concept uh, that is really effective as well. OK, now I think I might actually have the wrong player subbed in here. So I'll fix that real quick. That's why that loop's not coming in because they don't have a high enough agility player there. Uh, I like Owosu Koromura, or if you guys got the new Micah Parsons, you can put him there. If you're in regs, again, you just want to put your guy with the best agility possible at that spot, and you're going to see that it actually makes a huge difference. Uh, we should be able to get this loop pressure in this time, and as you can see there, that loop kind of started to come in. The tight end did kind of pick him up. I'm going to put the tight end on a different route just to kind of uh, illustrate what happens if he doesn't get bumped, and Madden 24 is such a... Uh, a finicky game this year and you have to really be aware of the bumping that can make your blitzes good or bad but as you can see there we're able to get the loop off of that right side edge now the beauty of this is that this blitz will do a really good job for you if they uh, block their running back or they block their tight end it doesn't really matter if they block either side the blitz is going to be able to come in consistently off of the opposite side so as you saw right there i blocked the running back and the blitz still came in and then I'll show you a blocked uh, tight end. And if they block a tight end now, we should get that left side pressure, as you can see right there, able to get that pressure in at the quarterback. What's also really cool and a little bit dependent upon ratings and uh, slide protections and just different things that your opponent can do. What's really cool about this blitz also is that sometimes if they max protect, this right side loop can still come in. As you see right there, we're able to get that in. That's against a block seven max protect we're only sending five people now the last thing that i want to talk about is how to make this coverage really good and you just want to bring your safeties down into the box and then from there you just want to click down to your user and you're going to be able to have i think one of the best ways to be playing defense right now because cover two in my opinion is the best coverage in the game uh especially against like compression sets like bunch or trip uh, or a uh, bunch or tight because the deep half zones, they stop a lot of the different bombs that a lot of people like to do. And then also the other beauty of this defense is the blitz comes in so fast that the, the blitz comes in so fast with this defense that what you're going to see a lot of times is you're going to see uh, that this coverage will hold up for just long enough for the pressure to come in. So there you see again, and you see how consistent, this is probably the most consistent, uh, I think, I think personally, one of the more consistent loop blitzes in the game. And if they ever patch the loop, I'll show you something else that you can do real quick because I do anticipate EA might patch uh, loop blitzing as a whole. So if they patch loop blitzing as a whole, all you want to do here is just crash your defensive line to the right. And then 
Again, this is where I like to press, uh, but if you don't want to press, just you can literally just bring this guy down just like this, and then you cannot be pressed, and you'll see that this edge pressure will go uh, re really, really, really nicely uh, with this defense. So this is my favorite defense. A lot of times what will happen is that corner will also come in like that, and when that corner comes in like that, you don't have to do anything. You literally just send the pressure and reap the benefit. Love this defense. There's so much you can do with it, too. Uh, we get into that in the Patreon a little bit more, specifically how to stop some of the best formations. So if you guys want to get access to uh, my ebook on this, make sure that you join the Patreon today. It's only 10 bucks. It'll get you access to all of our ebooks. We've got over 15 different offensive and uh, defensive ebooks so far this year. And we've been dropping a lot of updates this week to those so that you can have the most optimized way to run those schemes. So thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, just uh, head down to the description and uh, click the link down below.